Hold on to your hats, folks, because General Motors just dropped a bombshell that could change the automotive landscape as we know it. Move over, electric vehicles, there's a new contender in the ring, compressed air technology. GM claims this revolutionary engine could render both electric and internal combustion vehicles obsolete, ushering in a new era of eco-friendly transportation. But before we get carried away with visions of air-powered cars zipping around, let's take a closer look at this technology and its potential impact. GM isn't exactly breaking new ground here. Compressed air vehicles have been around since the 19th century, powering mine locomotives and even trams in European cities like Paris. However, their limited range and the rise of powerful internal combustion engines led to their decline. Fast forward to the 2010s, and French automaker Peugeot revisited the concept, developing hybrid vehicles that combined compressed air with traditional engines. While these prototypes never quite made it to the mass market, they sparked interest within the industry, including at GM. Recognizing the potential of compressed air as a sustainable alternative, GM embarked on a research and development journey. While continuing to invest in electric and internal combustion technologies, they quietly explored the possibilities of air-powered engines. Now, it seems, they're ready to unveil their creation to the world. So, how do these compressed air vehicles work? Unlike conventional piston-driven engines or electric motors, they utilize specially designed pneumatic engines. These engines are mechanically similar to regular internal combustion engines, using pistons just like petrol-powered ones. However, Instead of relying on an explosion to create piston motion, pneumatic motors introduce air into the chamber, increasing the pressure and pushing the piston to its maximum length. The air is then released, and a spring pulls the piston back to its original position, completing the cycle. This similarity to internal combustion engines allows for a wide range of technical solutions, which is one of the factors that drew GM towards this concept. But what are the benefits of compressed air engines compared to EVs and IC vehicles? The most notable advantage is their 100% pollution-free operation. They simply use pressurized air, meaning no harmful emissions are released during operation. This makes them a compelling solution to the environmental concerns surrounding traditional combustion engines. Compressed air engines also have an edge over EVs in terms of cost and environmental impact. They are far cheaper to produce and require no rare earth materials, unlike batteries or electric motors. Additionally, powering EVs isn't as green as it seems, as the grid still relies heavily on fossil fuels for electricity generation. Speaking of production, another key benefit of compressed air engines over internal combustion engines is their lower production cost. Since they endure considerably lower pressures than gasoline or diesel engines, they require less robust and expensive materials making them both more economically viable and environmentally friendly to produce in large quantities. And while the differences might not be as substantial as compared to EVs, they're still significant. Oh, and let's not forget the unbeatable running costs of compressed air engines. Compressed air is much cheaper than fuel or electricity and is also much easier to acquire. Plus, these engines are essentially future-proof as they don't waste anything and simply use pressurized air that remains structurally unchanged after exiting the chamber. However, as potent as they sound, compressed air engines have a few drawbacks that keep them from being developed and used on a wider scale. The first issue is their lack of power. Pressurized air has a very low energy density, which considerably reduces its potency. Additionally, due to their light components and low pressure output, the torque of these engines is extremely lackluster, making them less practical in real-world applications. The engine also has to spin at quite high RPMs, which, considering it's a fully mechanical contraption, leads to excess wear and tear on components. And if that wasn't enough, since the engine doesn't utilize liquid as its main propellant, introducing lubricants isn't as straightforward as on internal combustion engines. But the biggest challenge that compressed air engines face is their inefficiency. While this might sound insignificant considering compressed air is virtually free, it's actually a major hurdle. Most prototype compressed air vehicles developed have had extremely limited ranges, making them impractical for everyday use. This is because the energy required to compress the air is often greater than the energy released when the air expands in the engine. Additionally, the tanks needed to store the compressed air are bulky and heavy, further limiting the practicality of these vehicles. So. 
Are compressed air cars the future of transportation? The jury is still out. While GM's announcement is certainly exciting, there are still significant challenges to overcome before these vehicles can become mainstream. However, the potential benefits of compressed air technology are undeniable, and with continued research and development, they could one day revolutionize the way we get around.